Hey everybody, my name is Kyle and I am a local realtor in Roanoke, Virginia. I make all sorts of videos showing you what it's like to work, live, and play in Roanoke, Virginia. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the little bell so you're notified every time we make videos. Now, I get a lot of emails and calls from people all over the country moving to Roanoke and I absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about moving to or within Roanoke, please give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, whatever's easiest for you, and I'd love to help you out. Everybody quiet, please. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks again for watching the video. Uh, this is a little video about Grandin, um, Grandin Court, sorry. And it's just a little neighborhood um, close to Roanoke City. And it's one of my favorite areas to hang out. Um, so I decided to do a quick little video series on like my favorite neighborhoods um, and that are ideal neighborhoods in my mind. Um, the average home price in Granite Court is about 182000 Obviously, there are some more, there are some less, um, but that is a pretty good average considering the average of Roanoke is about 213, 215, and the average of the state of Virginia is about 300. So, you're looking at a significantly uh, lower entry point to own a home, and also um, it is an up and coming area, so there are a lot of um, there's potential for growth. Uh, just in the next 12 months, it's expected to increase in value almost 8%. So if you're looking to build a little bit of equity in your home rather quickly, this is probably an area to check out. And there's usually about 20, 15 to 20 homes on the market at any given time. So if you are looking to move into that area, it's relatively easy to find something you're looking for in the price range you're looking for just because the the market flows very well in that area. The top three age groups in um, Grandin are 35 to 54 being number one, uh, followed pretty closely by the 54 to 64, um, I'm sorry, 55 to 64 um, age group, um, but there are a lot of 25 to 34 year olds moving into the Grandin area as well. Most of these people are married without children, um, meaning they are out of the house or um, they don't have them yet, according to the Census Bureau. And, um, but looking at the age groups of the people moving into Grandin, it looks like it's probably gonna be shifting, um, you know, that, that number will shift down a little bit in the next couple of years just because of, of the age groups of people moving in there. Um, and most of them being married as well. And this is all census information, by the way. Um, this isn't me just guessing. <laughs> um, but anyway, 81% um, of the residents in Grandin have some form of college degree. The average income is about fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars a year. The top three occupations in Grandin are one, healthcare, obviously. Um, Carillion is a huge employer in Roanoke, number one employer, followed by the school system, uh, which is why the second and third are um, education and uh, science and technical skills, so uh, plumbing, things like that. Your average commute in Grandin is gonna be about 18 minutes, so it falls in that 15 to 30 minute average for the US, but it's, uh, I think the average in the US is about 26 minutes, so you're a little less than that, um, but for the most part, you're right around average. Um, most people drive to work, not a lot of people walk, um, some do but most, most drive. With Grandin being so walkable, it's a very convenient, fun place to live uh, and hang out. Um, if you wanna know more about Grandin, the entire download um, of information that I've used to make this video is in the description. There's no sign up necessary, um, so just click the link. You'll be able to download and read all the information. It's kind of boring stuff, it's pretty dry. Uh, it's kind of charts and numbers and stuff like that, but it's there for you if you want it. Uh, anyway, again, my name's Kyle. I'm a local realtor in Roanoke, Virginia. So if you are even thinking about moving into the area, please shoot me a text, send me an email, give me a call, whatever works for you. I get questions all the time and I absolutely love answering them. So please reach out and I hope to talk to you soon.